we got boost ball. Uh, then we gotta go. We could go back and get space jump now. Space boots. Yeah. Let's do that. Like, there's a purple door up there, right? Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Don't oh, fuck these guys. <laughs> I don't remember them coming up to your face and fucking molesting you, though. <laughs> uh, or... Okay. Oh, when this is where you see the space pirates. No? Yes? Oh, we see Ridley. Oh. Do you know if the Ruby and Sapphire remakes are any good? You could ask Narfity, because he plays, he's played the shit ton out of them. Has he? I didn't know he got those. I thought I only had X and Y. No, he or played X. Yeah, you played the hell out of those. Well, I played Y. Not as much as he did. I beat Y. So we gotta go back after Ridley here. Why did they name him Ridley? I don't know. You know, it's funny, because, like, Samus... Or it's like Aaron or Ron or Aaron or whatever the last name. Right? Ryan. <laughs> you would think that no, but it's like the yeah. name came from like that and some soccer player. Yeah. And Ridley, I don't know. It's it just sounds, a weird name for a creature. It sound yeah. Like that. But then again, Kraid is a weird name for a creature. It's yeah. like a giant green dinosaur with spikes for bellies. Okay, you wanna know? F Ooh, nope. You wanna know a fun fact? Is uh, actually, well, hold on. I want to make sure I check my map real quick so I know where I'm going. This shows a ruin, so we want to go for the elevator that takes us to Talon. That one. one. Yeah. So we gotta go just straight, basically. But um. Okay. Just go past them. But, um, there is actually evidence in the game files and whatever that, uh, Kraid was going to be in Metroid Prime 1, but he just isn't. Like, you can find there's renders of him and everything, and he's fucking spooky looking. Huh. But I'm just trying to think about that, like, if you put that in the boss battle, it would be... Basically, you'd be fighting... Like, tr uh, I'm just trying to imagine, so the boss fight with Kraid, you shot at him, right, uh, you shot in his mouth and he screamed, and then, uh, you did damage, but, like, eventually the stage would start falling apart and you'd have to, like, jump on the belly spikes he shot out, right? Okay. So, if you tried to put that into, um, a 3D game, like, how would that work? Like, Kraid would be stationary, you'd be up on a platform, and then I... eventually you'd sort of have to platform your way up. I guess so. So I can see why they got rid of Kraid. Kraid didn't but get well enough. Yeah, but it's fucking Kraid. Like, it, it would be cool, but yeah. it also would have been ridiculous. Yeah. But, like, um... It, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah. And then, I mean, Ridley's a better fight because it's like, A, it's a flying pterodactyl thing, yeah. right? And you can shoot at it. Yeah. Like, that's the whole yeah. point, right? <laughs> Pretty much. You can stay on the ground. It's not like it was anything complex, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's funny as fuck. But, um... Yeah, like, that's Wait, it. What's funny as fuck? I said it's just, it's funny as fuck. Oh, oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they had, I think, in Metroid Prime 3... I remember, I still on my Wii, I still have the preview channel for it, so that's like fucking eight years old, and I just <laughs> never deleted it, right? <laughs> and like, I remember seeing the previews, I'm like, Wait, what? when did the Wii come out? Oh, it came out a long time ago. Was it ago. like 2006? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Now that I think about it, that was when the Xbox 360 came out, didn't it? Yeah. They oh all, my god, that they, was forever ago! Yeah, they all came out around Holy the same shit, time. Holy shit, I didn't even realize, that's almost ten years ago. Yeah, it was super old. The Xbox 360 holds up amazing for how old it is. Yeah, for how old it is and, like, all the new games. That, like, I'm fucking GTA Five. on yeah. that. Like, I can't speak for the PlayStation because I've never had a PS3. Yeah. Whoa, I totally disintegrated that film. Yeah. Um, but, okay, anyway. 
Okay, so we gotta go get the boost ball. Alright, you know, we already have the boost ball with like yeah. the double jump. You know what I really want that like I've just been meaning to get for years that I never have? Mm. A, uh, I wanna get another GameCube. Yeah. Because I don't have a Wii. This can play Wii games, I don't need a Wii. But I really want a GameCube. I've got... I still have the discs for Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. Yeah. Best game of my childhood. That and Wind Waker. Yeah, that game's really good. Oh my god. But then I also have um, Pokemon Coliseum. Do you ever play those? Or yeah, I actually... I think I have Pokemon and then Coliseum. Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Yeah. I still have the game guide for XD Gale of Darkness. Like, that's the only game I've ever bought a guide for. That and Borderlands 2. And that game was so much fun. Like, 3D Pokemon. I don't think... Did they ever do something like that again? Because they were really good concepts. Oh, I oh. fucked that up! Like, I need to kill this dude. Hang on. Okay. Like, um... I don't know if they did. Like, I mean, it's like they had ga Well, I mean, they did have some ones on the Wii. They had something like it on the Wii, I think, but on the... Wasn't it like Pokemon... It was like... It was like... Oh, I don't know, but I thought it was cool because it's like you could make your own dude and dress him up, right? In it. the Wii one? Yeah. It was cool like that. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, is this nice one? I really like the idea of those, though, where you, like, even though it was super corny, like, like, unlock a Pokemon's heart or whatever. Yeah. I always just liked the progression that they had, because you could evolve them, but you also could steal them from people and then turn them good again, that took time as well. Yeah. Like, it was just more in-depth than the Game Boy ones at the time. Yeah, so look at this. Remember how I was saying earlier? Yeah. And we jump over here, we open the door, we jump down. Uh oh, hey. how do we jump back up? Oh, I don't know. No. If you don't scan it. No, you I think you it? I think you can actually get away with that. Okay. But yeah, so boots. Space jump boots. Hey. Not that sh not too shabby. So now we gotta go all the way fucking back there. Wait, what were we just talking about? We were talking about 3D Pokemon. Games. Oh yeah, my favorite feature from that. Yeah. You could um at, at least it was in Coliseum. I don't know if it was in the second one. You could plug your Game Boy Advance into the GameCube. Yeah, and, and you get could your bring key. your roster into it. Yeah. That was fun. That was pretty good. Oh. So that this is where we go up to the temple. So we're not gonna go up there because it's like we don't even have to go there yet, really. Yeah. I mean, once we have missiles, we could go there and look at it, but no, why? What we need to do is head back towards the uh, place that we were going. So we gotta go back over here. Wasn't Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for the DS? Yeah. They made it for the Wii. Or Wii U. I think. Wii Wear. Isn't mm -hmm. it like... Yeah, they made it for the Wii. What the hell? I'm gonna do that. That's weird. Yeah, I don't remember that. Was it only Japanese? They were released in Japan. They were planned for release in the US, but they were cancelled. Yeah, typical. Oh, okay. I like, do not remember that ever happening. I was gonna say, because it's like... How would that even like, be a thing? I, like, I don't know. Well, you could just use the, the remote like this. It's just... Yeah. History Dungeons was just a directional game. Yeah. I just like, trying to imagine game. if that was like 3D. No, it was... Um, over top. Okay. Or top-down game. It was really like, there's paths you can follow, and then you just direct your character in one of four directions. Oh, so, like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Like, oh, what's that game for the Android that everyone was obsessed with for a Shit. while? Good job. No, um, I know the, that, like, dungeon one. Yeah. Oh, God. Whatever, I don't have an Android, I have no idea. Oh my god! See how much damage you got all do? of your health! Yeah, see, th they're, those guys are definitely things to... Cautious about. Good job, Brett. <laughs> You're such a good player. Oh my god, you've lost so much health. 
I'll just go to the safe station and uh, get it all back. Yeah. You know. Okay. Oh, I am very okay. I did this part when you weren't in the one you were helping Patrick, right? Yeah. But this is like how precise you had to be to get a missile container. So you go over here, and the missile container would be up here. And I know there's probably an easier way to get across, but this is the cooler way. <laughs> and so I don't get fucked by this dude. Roll out. Yeah. Look at him. You bastard. I don't think he can actually, like, legit hurt you unless... No, unless you're in a ball. Yeah. With, and even then it's like barely. Look at that. Hey. Zero, zero health. But how's that even... Oh, because energy tanks run from 99 and whatever. Zero to 99? Yeah. Like, even though it says it's for 100. Okay. But, so yeah. Just so they don't have to replace it with three digits? Yeah. So, it sounds like they made another one like Colosseum, but without the whole, like, heart thing. Yeah, no, see, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't remember the name of it, but they it's made it, it as, like, Pokemon Park. Pokemon Battle Revolution. That one. They did make Poke Park or whatever the hell. Yeah, but no, like, it, because it was, like, Battle Revolution was, like, it was, like, a park, but, like, you could make your own dude and, like... Yeah, but there was no, like... Rescuing thing. Yeah, like there was no, no it was just like yeah. Those games for me as a child, and I even like, you know how it's legal to um, emulate a game if you own it. Yeah, I emulated um, Coliseum, mm -hmm. and oh, it was so much fun to play it again. I remember. Okay, you want to hear young Brett autism story? Oh or? yeah. Well, I don't have all. Yeah, yeah, but okay. <laughs> so going, so going on. Like, okay, I used to have this crush. Well, okay, so it's first off two things. It was, like, early waifuism and then, like, <laughs> early crush at the same time, right? Oh, Christ. So, okay, well, first off, we can double jump all the way where we gotta go now. Okay. We'll probably not double jump from here, but, like, if we get up higher, we can. Yep. But, so, like, at first, like, you know how you can name you and your companion? And what? Coliseum. Oh, Yeah. So I was like, okay, sure, whatever. I'll name him. Don't, isn't your companion like Umbreon and Espeon? No, I mean, I mean like your girl companion, like. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, but anyway, you named it your crush. Yeah, and then like, oh. and then another thing was like, I I was like, I oh, no, it just it doesn't feel right. And then I just like did it to uh, the name May from. Uh, what is it, Ruby Sapphire? After that, even though it's not the same <laughs> character, you know, it's really like, yeah, nice. Oh, God, I just named mine after my sister. <laughs> She's the girl. She was in the room. Yeah, I wasn't a creative child. I just, um, I just question why I'm in this room because I. Oh yeah, because there was a yeah. Look, you can do this. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna... Do you want to say actually kind of like... Wow. What? Cringy that I almost want to do? What? You know Humble Bundle? Yeah. Do you know what they're selling right now? What? They're selling like a big thing of dating sims. Including like Had a Full Boyfriend. Dude, Had a Full Boyfriend's the shit. I want to try I have learned... Like I've looked up nothing about it. So I know what it is. But I don't know anything like in it. And I just want to go into it blind. If I can. But Did they ever scan these assholes or like? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't scan the uh, other kind. If you pay thirty five dollars right now, yeah. they will send you a like a body pillow of one of the people from Had a Full Boyfriend. Or not? No, like one of the. Isn't everyone a Had a Full Boyfriend a bird? Yeah. So no, they're of um like it's of one of the characters in one of the games they're selling, like with it printed on the pillow. Oh. And I want it so badly. See, it's like... It's like four feet tall. I would be into that. 
but then again, I'm like not like. I mean, like I want it mostly for the like the shit factor. Like, so like, my girlfriend can come over and I'm just like in bed snuggling with my wifey pillow. She was just like, "Why the fuck you am I with you?" You want to know the most awkward part? Is that those, you know, people are like, oh, those pillows are fucking shit because, you know, it's like waifu stuff on it. Mm -hmm. They're actually so comfortable. I know. You don't just know. body pillows with uh, something printed on it. Oh, uh, yeah. Body pillows are amazing. Oh, wait, Chozo statue. Wait, it, uh. Oh, no, I probably. There's a different Chozo statue for it, probably. For what? There's a Chozo statue in the uh, Chozo ruins that, like, it's like the old ones where if you go into morph ball mode, um, you can, uh, you know, like, it will heal you and, like, give you, like, I think it's like, yeah. if you have all the beam power-ups, you can, uh, like, you can shoot certain things above the Chozo statue. And then it will throw you in different directions, like to get you like a, like a health kit or like a health tank. That's with ridiculous. Missiles. Okay, let's read them. Statue of the philosopher, and they're all flawless because the Chozo are like the best ever. So the hands are frozen, please. Oh, we're going for the... No, we're not going for the ice beam right now. We're going for... We're going for something else, but... Um... We gotta thaw out the Chozo statue. To pass my gaze, seek my twin within this room. So we gotta look for the twin. Wait, what did it look like? Was it with the warrior, or was it the... Well... Well, no. The one that was on the door, what, what did it look like? It had a long nose. That's like all the chores I was And nothing really about it. Yeah, so like... Let's just go look at the other ones. They all look different. That one is something on top of it, or... Let's... Oh, well wait. No, that one. This one? That one. Several fractures. Yes, you are good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Chozo. <laughs> the best uh, part is that they had to, like, do all this. It's like, here's this puzzle. If you can read bird, <laughs> you can do this. Well, it even said fracture. Like, I bet you never had to even read I that Chozo. Read it, yeah, I know. But... Hmm. Thanks, Chozo. <laughs> now you have to do these puzzles. Watch this. This is probably what the... Oh my god. <laughs> so unnecessarily long and not difficult. Yeah, I know, but it's just like the puzzle of whatever. Please give me wave beam so I can kill those stupid. Oh, that's what oh. I'm here for. Okay, hold on. So this is wave beam. Ooh, but there's seismic structure. I wonder if this is gonna be a boss fight. Maybe boss. Probably. Yeah. Or is it an actual boss? Nah, there are any bosses right now. So what does the wave beam do? Oh yeah, I think I remember um, this room. You fight the baby Shigoth and then you piss off the mom. That makes and sense. then the mom comes out and you have to fight it. So what does the wave beam do? Uh, so the wave beam will open purple doors and then like, you know those energy ball guys that I keep hitting into? Yeah. They can only be killed with the, the wave beam. Uh, yeah. Does it do anything to the Shigoths? Um... Because, I it mean, could. they're the enemy you're fighting in the room you get it, I assume that would have something to do with it. It could, but... <laughs> I'm scan them all. This is a huge fucking beast! She got Supreme, Supreme Predator! predator. <laughs> you're invulnerable to most beam weapons. So shoot the crystals on its back with the beam. Laser. They hyperventilate. We wave beam. 
the soft under. So shoot its back with the wave beam and then either use your bomb or your rockets on it. Yeah, well, let's see, it charges up the. Uh... So it charges itself up, but it has a soft underbelly. Doesn't it? Does it flip over? Or can you roll underneath it and lay a bomb underneath it? Let me try and. Yeah, so the missile isn't doing anything. Well, let's read it again real quick. So, invulnerable, they absorb the energy, and then they hyperventilate, making the mouth area vulnerable. Okay. So... This is low, bruh. I'll clutch it out. Oh, okay, I do need missiles. Give me a second. <laughs> Hold on, she got. <laughs> Can you run out of missiles or do the boxes yeah. respawn? The, bo uh, the boxes probably respawn. Yeah. Well, where did that? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it was just like the it happened sometimes with the Wii, like the sensor bar lost it for a split second and just dragged yeah. it across the screen. How does he have to do that? Until it's dead. There. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. Took a little longer. She got defeated. Hey. In full health. So there we go, wave beam. Oh, you didn't have the wave beam yet. I looked no. away for like two seconds. I was wondering why you didn't just shoot its back with the wave beam. That makes way more sense now. Thanks for correcting me, Brett. Yeah. <laughs> so now we can open up a bunch more doors. More door? Yeah. We're, we're opening more door? Yeah. But okay, watch this. So look. In the old game, down in the right hand corner, it used to have it. But if I hold plus, then I can like switch between them like that. Huh. So that's what the wave beam does. It has like a very weird spread to it's it. It's like all it does. Does it kind of damage people? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It does a, actually, it does a decent amount of damage. So why switch back to the power beam? Uh, usually just to like, you know, fight other enemies, or like, sometimes there are enemies that you have to like, actually, ooh, what's up? <laughs> See? You can just, you overload. Wow, the effect from those things. Yeah. But, okay, so now another thing is like, you'll notice, so it's like, this is Chozo origin, right, because of the hand, yeah. right? And this is human origin, so like this, the hu wave beam was made by humans, and then, uh, I think the, f uh, fuck, what is it, the plasma beam was made by, like, the, uh, space pirates, and then the ice beam, I don't know. Hmm. Cause, like, you can just tell by the handprint, yeah. like, 